What's going on, Mace Knights? Welcome back to Conan Exiles. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I have been steady working on the base. I did a little bit of it. Well, not a little bit. I actually did a lot of it um, off camera because I wanted to be able to get ready for the new biome that opened up today. It opened up today. Really, really excited about it. John has already streamed, is actually currently streaming it right now as I'm recording, so I'm kind of upset I'm missing that. But at the same time, I think it's going to be worth it. So anyways, my hope was to get all of this done before I had to leave and I could show it all off and all that stuff. It's just not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the new biome. We are going to check it out a little bit. I'm going to build a little bit of a base and then we will end up coming back down here so I can continue to level up and uh, finish this build off because I don't want to leave it incomplete. So yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm going to run up to the old location. If you remember from season one where Joss Qual and I were up against the northern border, I'm going to see if I can look at the map real fast and show you guys. Okay, we were right along here. Now, I want to test a theory. There were some caves that backed up to our old base, and I'm wondering if it actually goes all the way through. If it does, that'd be really, really cool, and I hope that it does. So anyways, I will meet you guys back over here. Joss is going to join me. She's just as curious, and uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys over there. Ah, uh, it's nice to be back home. Okay, so I made it all the way up here. Um, unfortunately, since Joss's level was uh, was lower, it uh, it was really, really difficult. Now, we've got a little bit of like increased, I guess, NPC rates, uh, because it used to be really, really easy. That's not the case anymore. It's ridiculously hard. Um, Let's just put it to you this way. I've got an ancient Kopesh, if, as you guys can see, and it took me eight swings with the ancient Kopesh to kill a spider, which I don't know what's going on with that. Usually these guys are like four or five hits, and they're taking longer. I've got this like super crazy epic music. Oh my god, we were right. Joss. It goes, it goes through. It goes through. Yes. So Joss is, Joss is still listening in. She wants to hear about this this good, amazing stuff that's happening. Yeah, I didn't make it very far. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Okay, so remember exactly where my... Oh, 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 there's a guy. The animation for the, for the green wall is still here. But yeah, my base oh. was, like, right over here, guys. If you remember, that's where our crafting zone is, where the cursor was. And yeah, this is, this is fantastic. We were right. Oh, it feels good to be right. Anyways, this is the new biome has opened up. Oh, if we were still on the other server, this would have been absolutely freaking amazing. And it already is. Look at this. What is this? Iron? This might be iron? Maybe? No, it's just stone. Okay. Now, I brought quite a few things with me uh, in order to try and be able to craft up at least some somewhat of a safe place. Now, the problem is... What I really need to do is I, I really need to go ahead and place one of these rawhide bed rolls down because if I die, I want to be close. Okay, so let's see here. Is there a place do it in our I... secret cave? Oh, I should. Does put it, it still in the cave. have the little? You know what I mean? And uh, where the water runs through? Oh, um, yes, it does. But I might be able to place it closer than that. Hmm. Or in one of those. How many of them go through? Just are you looking at just the one that was like behind your old base? Yeah, that's the one that I'm looking at. Okay, spawn nice. point updated. Fantastic. So they've added quite a few different features. Um, let's just say this: if you are joining for the very first time after you have uh, after the update, your controls will be messed up. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's because of the Xbox thing or what. But your controls are going to be messed up. You're going to have to go through and change all that stuff. You're going to have to relearn all of your different feats. Um, let's see what else. Oh, they've implemented the temperature system. Now, the reason I'm wearing the medium armor, not the heavy armor, the old base that I was just at in the beginning of the episode, I overheat. I get like two overheat times two and times three. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a wolf? Uh-oh. Oh my Okay. This could be bad. This is like the hyena of the north. Oh, go away. Just go away. It doesn't seem to aggro nearly as fast. Hmm. The hyena mm -hmm. aggros from kind of far away. Yeah, this wolf like 
rolled right up on me. Didn't do anything. Maybe he was afraid. Oh, oh my. Okay, but... him. <laughs> so the other <laughs> thing that they that they took away, usually you could sprint with uh with your shield and your sword or a bow out. You can't do that anymore. You sprint, it takes it away. So I'm not a fan of that at all. By any means. I think that that is just absolute crap and garbage. But it is what it is. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful over here. Beautiful. From what I've just the barely seen. Okay, let's see here. So what I was thinking is we could go over here where the... Uh, uh, what is this called? The road? Where the road goes? Or we could go over here. We want to be by water. And that's something else that I've noticed. The closer you are to water, the less you're affected by the heat. Now, right now it's showing that I'm cold, so I could wear my heavy armor. But I didn't bring it with me because I would overheat so fast. And I had to take the river the whole way, and it's just been a giant cluster F, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's, it's been very, very difficult. I'm not sure if that is strictly because of... Uh, the increased NPC rates or what's going on, but I am level 47 and oh my god, it's deer. Oh, look you majestic beast, you. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so I Do got You love like, it as uh, much as the boar. Oh, I love it more than the boar, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's deer here, there's wolves here. Um, there's a boar. Hey, there's a boar. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Blackbeard? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> you almost look identical. Oh wow, there's a big there's a big lake right there. There's some ruins that looks like over there. Oh my. This looks nice. absolutely phenomenal. Okay. So, that is a huge drastic change though <laughs> between <laughs> between the desert and uh and this this wooded area. So, from what I've seen, and if you guys have seen the live stream at all, basically all of this is going to be the foresty area. This over here to the left hand side of the screen is going to be kind of like a dead zone where there's like at night uh, hordes of something. I don't remember if they're skeletons or what they are, but they come out the undead or I don't know, something to come kill you. And then over here, of course, is the absolutely massive winter biome. So the cool thing is with the feats, uh, you can go ahead and start to unlock some of this stuff from the very, very beginning. So as soon as you log in, you can start unlocking this stuff. There's a bear. Okay, I feel like a bear is going to be bad news. Uh, bad news bears? Am I right? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see what I did there? Okay. Anyway, so what is going to be a good base location? I want to be close to stone. I want to be close to iron. I haven't seen a single lick of iron. Oh, and I'm getting aggro music. What, what am I getting? Boar? Is it Bear? You know, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that I'm getting aggro music from deer. Which I don't really understand what that is. I mean, I like the difference. I like that it's um, unique. Oh, God, it's a bear. Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed. Wait, wait, wait. He, he showed his teeth and that was it. Oh, this music. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> Maybe he has a toothache. Maybe so. Now, something else that I that I remember from early on, basically NPCs and creatures cannot go into the water. Um, the crocodiles, of course, they can, but only a little bit, not nothing too crazy. So I don't really have to worry about that too much, especially being this close to the river or this uh, little lake here. I don't think we're really going to have to worry about that. Now, the only thing that I'm thinking we might have to worry about is um, there's a white wolf. Oh, wow is uh, if there are fish down here. Now, if the fish come and get me, that could be pretty bad, but I don't see any. Hmm. Well, that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. Gosh, the music, the sounds, all of this is just <laughs> absolutely stunning. And they did a really, really, really good job with this, in my opinion. Okay, maybe this will be a good spot if there's nothing that spawns over here. Oh, what was that? Is that a bunny? No, it's a ram. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with a ram being here. Yeah, I think... Talese Island. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. There's stairs that go up. Oh, we're going to the ruins. We're going to check this out. 
Oh, this is so cool. Okay. I think the music just really ties it all together. The Sanctuary Ruins. Okay. Now, they definitely unlocked er, uh, the features of the... I guess the exploration system is now a thing. It gives you XP. It gives you all sorts of cool stuff. So, I think if we build on that little island, we might be good. Now, it is a PvP server, so anybody that's coming up here and they come this direction, if they know that it's there, they're going to be right in line with our video. Or, not with our video, with our base. So, that, mm, I got to be careful with that. But if I build in Tier 2, or, uh, yeah, I've brought quite a few materials to build in Tier 2. I brought a chest. I brought all sorts of stuff. So, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. But let's go ahead and check out this little room right here. Find signs of intelligent life. Okay, it absolutely has nothing in the item order. I don't know. Of course, they're going to update that. I just don't know when. So we'll have to come back. And if we build a base here, that won't be too big of an issue at all. So, let's see here. Is this going to be a good spot to build? I like the fact that I can probably wear heavy armor and not worry about it. Um, my water's barely going down at all, so that's a good thing. And that's something else that that's really really crappy when you're uh, when you're down in the desert still, your your water just goes so so fast. It's crazy. Oh, bunny, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna build over here. I feel like this is gonna be a good spot. Um, shouldn't have to worry about too many things. We're surrounded by water, and I think that is a really really important aspect to be able to set up a base that we can go to safely. And, uh, yeah, that, now those white wolves, I don't know if they are more aggressive, less aggressive, or what's going on with them compared to the gray wolves. Hmm, I don't know. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start building a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use tier 2 stuff. Now, the other thing is, they have implemented a, uh, the, I guess the temperature system works with the walls of your buildings as well, so in this area I don't think we're really gonna have to worry about using the insulated wood frames but you let's see here this is like a tier 2 material uh, it's two shaped wood 10 resin which I guess you can only get from trees up in the north and then iron reinforcements so like I said earlier I brought one two three four five six seven I brought eight stacks of iron reinforcements um, and I brought 200 of the shaped wood and so I've got to get uh, resin. So if I can get a couple of foundations down, then I should be good. So let's test this out and see if I can get some resin from this. Wood, bark, wood, wood, resin, 30. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so even with the pickaxe, it looks like resin is still a specialty item. Oh, I just chopped those two trees way in half. Oh, it looks like ragdoll is still in effect. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Um, I can always build a, uh, whatchamacallit, a carpenter's bench. That's not going to be too big of a deal. I can do all of that once I start building some of the foundations. So, that being said, let's go ahead. I've got 114 resin. I've got this wood. Go ahead and just drop it for now. Now, let's see how many of these foundations we can build. Okay, I can build five foundations. And that's with the resin. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that on my hotbar. And we're going to try and find a little safe spot. I mean, we don't... Technically, we could go to, like, a little mountain range right over here. Or this little cliff right here. I think we would be okay. But honestly, just for now, I'll move uh, whenever Joss gets up here. That way we can find a little bit of a safer spot. In the next coming episodes, I'll probably check out the area a little bit more. But like I was saying, I definitely want to finish the build uh, down in the desert. Because we always... I don't know how many NPC camps are up here for, we, for us to get thralls. So I feel like that's going to be something that's obviously important. But yeah, I don't know. This should be interesting. So I'm going to play around with this for a little bit. And I will be right back. Man, oh man, has this taken quite a bit of time. Now, the devs did say something about reducing the cost of uh, building stuff and things. So, let me show you guys what that actually means. I don't remember off the top of my head what tier 2 uh, building stuff required, but I feel like it might have been 
Mm, it's been reduced. I just don't know how much. Now, the other thing is I am building in the insulated wooden foundations. So that is something that you can actually learn uh, as part of the new biome. You're going to need it in the cold areas for sure. Now, I don't actually think that I need it. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I actually need it right where I'm at because it's not cold, right? But at the same time... Um, I want to go ahead and build in it so I know what, what's going on with that. So I needed resin, which you actually get that from the trees. And the trees actually respawn right around the base really, really quickly. And also um, pretty close to it too. I mean, there's probably five or six more trees right in this area that I'm at right now that just continually respawn even though I'm building so close. So that's a good thing. I want to keep a couple of trees just for the... Uh, coverage you know so somebody doesn't necessarily see my base just completely in the open so what I've done here and I've got four more ceiling pieces left and that or roof pieces left and that is it so let me go ahead and craft these up real fast I'll place these and then we can do a little bit of exploring it's not too bad honestly um, you don't need brick or anything like that I just need four of these right yeah three four okay cool and, uh, yeah, I kind of think I might need to chop this tree down. <laughs> I'm just not really sure yet. I wanted to do something a little bit unique, maybe be able to see the tree. I don't know what I was really doing that for, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's see here. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, that, and then that right there. Perfect. So now we've got an upstairs. We can put our crafting station. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to keep our crafting stations downstairs. I put this bed here in case anything would actually spawn on this island. Nothing has. Just rabbits and sheep. And there was only two of those. Now those actually seem to be a little bit aggressive. They're not very difficult at all. You get fur for them. Um, so I need to actually attack a couple more things and get more fur in order to make the fur armor. That is actually not going to be right here. It's going to be an armor's chest or bench. So I need stone and wood, which is really, really easy to do. I'll go ahead and grab some of this. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the episode or not, but now when you sprint, your items go away. And I really, really don't understand that at all. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. It's a pain in the butt. Makes farming 10 times longer than it ever was. And yeah. I'm just not a fan at all. So, devs, please change this. Please. Pretty please. It's, uh, it's rather frustrating trying to get that done and not being able to sprint and be able to tag something. So, I don't know. I, I, I really like the feel of this new biome. Um, I think they really need to tinker with the weather effects for sure. It is a little too hot to be in the desert. That's a pretty pretty substantial area to make it that difficult to pretty much only be able to wear light armor without running out of food and water extremely fast. So, you know, eh, it is what it is, but it'll be okay. Anyways, let me go ahead. Oh, I can pick. Well, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Okay, well, whoops. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that I could have picked that up. Which, it's like some things you can pick up and some things you can't. I knew you could pick up the bedrolls, but I didn't think you could pick up something like that. Um, but that's okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of storage on this area over here. Um, the reason, another reason that I've decided to go ahead and build in this insulated stuff is it's, it's equivalent to tier 2. It's got a little bit of a weird lighting effect, <laughs> as you can see right here. I'm not really sure why that is. Um, I think the overall look is actually pretty neat. I mean, it's a, it's definitely a different feel and vibe than the uh, than the stone stuff for sure, which is a very pleasant, very pleasant surprise. And I really, really, really want to make the different armor, mainly because I just don't fit in with what I've got going on with this little ninja outfit thing. I, and it just doesn't match this biome at all. So the different armors that they actually added I feel like is actually a really good compromise and good fit for what we've got going on here now I was thinking I'll just shove you over here in this corner because I don't really need you all the time 
and yeah, that's a good placement for you. So, let's see here. Okay, yes. The veneer fur cap, which is going to actually require ice. So I'm going to have to go to a cold region in order to get that stuff, which I'll need this stuff, this fur armor, in order to get that going and be able to survive over there. So I actually threw some of my fur in here. I'm probably going to have to go gather some more. I don't know if the rabbits actually have fur on them or not. That'll be really good if they do, though, since there's so many of those little boogers around here. Okay, we need that, and the medium gauntlets, so 10, 10, 20, so that's 40, 50, and 66. Oh my god, I've got plenty of that. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and throw that over there as well. And this is medium, right? Medium leggings, heavy, heavy, light, medium, leather, and twine. Let's throw that over there. And we'll grab some of this. Uh, do I have? No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to need to do a little bit more farming. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. We have done it. Okay, so we have the fur armor set. Really, really excited about this. All right, let's put this bad boy on and see what we look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, you look kind of silly <laughs> yeah I'm not really liking this whole Mo uh, Mongolian thing I don't know about this okay in all honesty I'm actually a little bit too warm for this uh, as you can tell uh, by the upper furthest right hand corner with the Sun that is my warmth now something that came with this uh, with this new expansion or update or whatever you want to call it is actually different types of uh, drinks that you can make that will give you either a heat boost or it will help cool you down I believe I know it'll do a heat boost for sure because I'm fairly positive that if everything is either as drastic as it is in the desert area as it is up here I feel like I mean well pretty much two-thirds of the new expansion area is actually in the frozen area so I feel like you're definitely gonna need that for that now I can survive uh, being a little bit warm but I really really want to stay in the white not the yellow um, I don't have any mm, any negatives uh, it's not like overheating times one it might be overheating times one I'm not really sure I'll kind of have to test this out and see if I just need to stay in the other armor I really don't like that armor in this bio, man. That's not, it's not suited for that. It is suited for the desert. And even then, I'm still not the biggest fan of it because I'm like wearing a skirt, running around looking like a ninja, pirate, weird, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just not a fan. So maybe I'll do a little bit of a mixture of the two. Um, maybe, yeah, see, uh, being next to the fire definitely gives you warmth. Now my house is insulated, so I'm sure that does not help with any of that stuff um, I don't know if let's see here yeah I'm gonna have to get ice for that like I was talking about earlier but this still looks like it's only medium armor maybe it's just a little bit different um, maybe it's a little bit warmer than this I don't know there's so many different new things that they've added within uh, just this last update it's it's insane I think it's like a hundred different craftable items that they added in which you know that's crazy right I mean yeah oh gosh like there's brewery stuff there's honey that you can make uh, with honey hives I mean it's it's pretty crazy so I don't know we'll see um, let's go ahead and increase my strength because things seem to be more difficult and let's do vitality for sure now um, let's probably increase my strength one more. Yeah, that that should help. Let's look at my recipes real fast. Um, okay, here's brewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highland wine, desert wine, cactus wine, mead, regular wine, fermentation barrel. That's pretty cool. Um, this is the new god that they added, Ymir. 
So that, I believe, if I am remembering correctly, I think is actually somewhere over in this area. Maybe even it's this little pattern right here. I don't know. That's kind of a far way. <laughs> it's pretty far. Uh, I attacked a boar in order to get some fur. Yeah, those bad boys are pretty difficult. Now, I'm assuming you really have to do these more advanced weapons in order to actually be able to kill these things. I feel like that's that's legitimate. Um, let's see here. The hardened steel pauldron. Maybe that's, I guess, the tier 3 stuff. Um, maybe it actually gives you a little bit more warmth. We don't have to necessarily worry about stuff as much as we have been with the medium armor. Um, the star metal shield. This looks like it's even the higher level stuff. And... As you notice, the level cap has increased from 50 to 60. So, yeah, we've got a lot to do. I mean, it's a pretty big expansion, pretty big overhaul uh, from what's been going on you know, down in the desert area. So, I'm really excited about this, guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it opens up our possibilities quite a bit. And, yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Uh, I for sure am enjoying it, at least for now. It's a little bit grindy, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's a nice little change. So, anyways, I hope you guys have liked this episode. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, I ask that you please do so, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>